Hey, yo, sup? This is your girl with no hornet's nest, yo. I'm tired of these niggas lying and not being good friends, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. Now we gonna talk about um Chelsea Handler. Hey, yo, that bitch fuck 50 Cent, man. Tell her pull up and fuck me too. You know what I'm talking about? You heard me? Give her some of that magic chocolate stick. Them, 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 the greasy chocolate balls. You know, South Park status. Uh, you know, you know, I like smart white bitches to just get my dick going. Okay, we talking about uh Chelsea Handler, the comedian, the writer, the 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 weed advocate, the the, the bitch of the century. Um, she was on Sway in the morning, Sway Universe, and you ain't got all the Sway answers. Kanye shrugged. So yeah, let's talk about it, y'all. You hear me? Make sure y'all go get a book. Make sure y'all check out on Netflix with that new film White Privilege. The bitch talking that shit. How she used to be with a nigga named Tajon. And they got called for um, a dime bag of weed. And nigga, she got off and he went to jail. She got off twice. He went to jail twice. Then he went to start selling drugs and went to jail for 14 years. You know what I'm talking about? And then she went back to her white privilege. So y'all need to check that out on Netflix. And by the way, stop checking out every show where that bitch ain't funny and she got a squirrel mouth. But anyway, y'all blocked my video because I was talking that shit. I should have been banned. Copyright infringement. My black ass. But let's move on. You heard me? I, um, she was saying that, um, because she's a very good weed advocate. Shout out to the gang gang smoking that loud, that education. Hey, yo, so, um, what we were talking about in this uh, interview there with Sway and all the good people in there, they were saying, um, what strand are you taking to decrease the munchies, right? And, you know, she was dropping that size on them. She said, yo, it's strand uh, THCV. It's like an appetite suppressant. And, um, but you can't isolate all the strands because they all combine, especially in edibles. And, um, because you need the THC to activate the CBD. Um, and what Chelsea is also trying to do is change everyone's thought pattern because, um, as you know, weed has been seen as a male oriented drug, oriented drug. Like, you don't see a lot of women smokers. And, uh, from personal experience, being part of the roster way of life spirituality they don't call it a religion but i do i can say what the fuck i want shout out to them niggas gang gang i and i always you know what i'm saying his imperial majesty in case you didn't know how they said lost you know what i'm talking about i stand over the pew because i ain't a preacher those are my people i know my shit um what what they would say is that the men are able to smoke because they have to deal with them cutting off their dreads. Because, you know, they say, they say it's a rule against that over there in the land of the yard. You know what I'm saying? Seeing? You know, you're overstanding me. So what I'm saying is, right? Um, they say that women are only supposed to smoke in the privacy of their own homes. So they're not looked at as smokers, as people that are selling drugs, as the one that's getting prosecuted because of all the... Um, the uh bad connotation that come with smoking weed, you know what I'm talking about? Um, so I really feel her on that. And um, you know, also she's trying to campaign so that the makers of the strands at the um at the weed vendors and medical um places, they learn to put more THC in the vape pen because they put less THC. Hey yo, what the fuck's going on? I'm here. They put less THC in the vape pen, so it, it's harder to control your munchies. Mm -hmm. It's like more space, less weed, you know what I'm saying? Because the less weed, the more they can sell it. It's just like when you out there moving that weight in real life. You give them less for what they pay for, you know what I'm saying? So you can make that flip and make that profit. If you equal out, then it ain't nothing but zero. Your day is right 60. Mm -hmm. So let me holler at that shit. So check this out. Um, and she also believed, right? She don't believe in marriage because she believes that the constitute of marriage is outdated. It just needs to be updated. And she's saying it's like a um, it's like a WebMD book, you know what I'm saying? You got to get that 2019 version, you know? All the rules of marriage and how to, how to way to play the game and 
Women supposed to do this role and men supposed to do that role. Man, if you were in the 1950s, you think like the 50s. But right now, we in the 220s. We need to move up. And like I said, the reveal's coming June 11th because I'll be 33. Crucify me, niggas. And we got 12 years before the world ends. So I'll let your boy. Um, she's not against it and she ain't for it. And by the way, she got that long strong because as she said in the interview, Tasha Hunt got her ass pregnant twice. She was busting it out before a real nigga. <laughs> and, um, but basically, I agree with that, but I'm for marriage because, you know, you got to fuck clean. And you can't be clean unless you put that ring on a ring. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, like I said, fuck with Chelsea Handler. Fuck with Sway in the morning. They was talking about, um, also mental illness, y'all. And talking to a therapist and how black people, especially black men, have this um, preconceived notion that telling all your business to get you locked up. But it will, though, nigga, because if you do some fucked up shit, it tells you that, hey, the, um, what is it? It's, uh, excuse me, give me a minute, y'all. Gotta correlate all my thoughts. Y'all gotta crystallize. Because I miss my daddy, too, but I can hold my urine. Now, hold on, let me crystallize it. Uh, what is the HIPAA, the HIPAA law, where they you can tell them shit, they can't tell nobody, but if you tell them shit about hurting yourself, selling some drugs in your community to get that paper, or killing somebody that fucked up in six nines, you dang your heart, that ass, they can go ahead and tell on your ass and bring you in the court, and you be up there with the blicky, oh, wondering why you done got told on, talking about I was just selling my feelings. So, they said you can't be telling your feelings to everybody. And especially those people with white privileges. Guilty. All right. Uh, but what is that website we're going to promote? And we ain't getting paid. We just promote that real shit. Talk to them. Therapyforblackmen.org Now, therapyforblackmen.org I kind of uh, disagree with the name. I kind of disagree with the fact of you want to do segregation and separation, right? And colorism, right? <laughs> but but you know, what I think it is, it's 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 um, a, go ahead. it's a uh, it's a collection of different therapists in every single state. Yes. Um, and what I I think they do, they're, they're more. Uh, say knowledgeable in, 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 in dealing with or listening to the black man and his and his problem and making them feel more comfortable. Because so they're means, so that means you can run up on a therapist and they'll be like, you don't know what it's like to be black and they be like, I should do my nigga for sure. Right on. And um as I end this video I wanna end it on a good note, right? In the words of Nate Dog, who died of cancer and shout out to uh, G, uh, Josie Handler. Um, what they don't say? What they don't say? Nigga said, smoke weed every day. And I'm gone. And like she says, you don't have to take sleeping pills. You don't have to worry about being bloated. But you know what? You're going to worry about taking sleeping pills and being bloated when I knock your ass out. Because when I say I'm gone, it don't mean come back for part two. And my reliable well, sources know, I was is just gone to, with me too. I was just trying to help Nick monetize. That's all I was. I was just trying to give him a little more time on his talking. <laughs> so with that, then we I'm gone. gone.